Hello there, peoples. Today, I'm going to be doing Trey's rants, the long-awaited episode 5. Sorry, I've been taking, like, literally 2-3 weeks now. But, I'm going to start trying to get back in this. So today, I'm going to rant. Hold on. <coughs> the long... Okay. <coughs> the first thing I'm going to rant about is the bad apple argument. Number two, I am going to rant on... Uh, People who are quick to call the police. And then last, I'm going to rant about people being over... I already did that. Um, on people who are, like, literally scared of everything. So, let's start off... Wait, wait, actually, no. The last one's going to be about the Young Turks on the recent video they did. So I'm going to talk about this first. The bad apple argument. This argument is pretty much used for... It's mainly used for police, but I can, I'm going to use it for anything. Police, feminism. And it's a, it's an argument for pretty much extremism. It's an argument saying, oh, we're not all bad. It's just a few bad apples. I hate when people say that. It's just because to me, it's a way of ignoring the problem. You know... You know, when people say, oh, there's only a few bad apples in the police, I'm sorry. It's a system thing. There's more to it. When there's stories of cops every, pretty much every day now, I mean, we can't keep saying, oh, it's a few bad apples. You can't keep saying that. To me, it's just a way to deflect the problems. Like, yeah, it's just to ignore the problem. Like, oh, there's only a few bad apples. It's, you don't want to admit there's a problem. And there is. Feminists do the same thing. Though I don't really use bad apples, but I'm using that. It's the same thing. They don't want to admit there's a problem with their movement. I just think, if you're genuine, you're going to address the problem. Stop ignoring the problem and keep saying, oh, it's just a few bad apples. I'm sorry. It's more than that. Look at feminism. I mean, I'm sorry. A majority of popular feminists believe in are anti-male. You know all that shit with cops I'm not, of course not all cops are bad but it's a system problem that has to be dealt with you can't keep saying oh it's just a few bad apples you gotta stop using that argument because to me you just don't want to admit there's a problem it's lazy it's just a way to ignore it there's not a problem I'm just gonna ignore it admit there's a problem you know that's all I'm saying <sighs> Now I'm going to rant about um, this. There was a story a few weeks ago about this guy who wore like a stormtrooper outfit in front of the school. People were like, what is that? People were like freaking out and like they called the cops and he got arrested for wearing a costume. And, and the fact that the mother's like, what if he does something? He's not going to, what is he going to do? It's a fake laser gun. It's a fucking stormtrooper. It just shows how America is so scared of everything. Anything that seems a little weird, they're super scared. Like, bro a set. If I saw a guy with a clone with a stormtrooper outfit, I'd be like, that's fucking badass. I wouldn't call the cops. And that's another thing. People are just so quick to call the cops for situations that you can deal with on your own. Not everything needs police interference. Because I'm, I have to say, a lot of times cops will make a situation worse, in my opinion. Like, you don't need to call the cops for every little thing. Like, so if I see someone smoking a joint in, in front of my house or something, I'm not going to call the cops. Because it's not like they're hurting anyone. I'd only really call the cops if someone's, like, hurt. Or if I saw someone rob a bank or rob a house, something like that. But if I just see someone, like, smoking a joint in front of a building, why call the cops? He's not hurting anybody. Stop being so scared. Grow a set. And I think, you know, I think it's also because of, like, 9-11. I think the government has made people seem scared of anything that just seems out of, out of the usual. It's just, it's bullshit. You know? I just hope one day we can get better than that. Another thing. The last thing. The last point here. Young Turks did a video about saying, like, Bill Cosby admitted to drugging women when in actuality he meant he gave women drugs and 
for sex, and they're, the drugs were called quaaludes, I think that's what they're called. And it's a sex drug. Basically, it helps you have sex. It was in the 60s and 70s, and even said that they took it willingly. Young Turks, I think it's because they want them to be guilty. You know, it, I mean, I've talked about Young Turks being shameless, but this is shameless. That they just want them to be guilty so bad they're willing to use this as evidence when in actuality he never said he, dr he drugged them. It's like, first, giving, like, there's a difference between drugging someone and giving someone drugs. Giving someone drugs is like, let's say someone gives someone a bag of pot and then they smoke it willingly. That's not drugging someone. They gave them to them. Drugging someone is like you put roofies in someone's drink without their knowledge. That's drugging someone. But I think it's just because they want him to be guilty. And I'm, I'm not even defending Bill Cosby. I don't, I don't know if he's innocent or not. I'm not. I don't know. You know? <clears throat> but it's just have some integrity. And I know you're not actual journalists, but you're going by this about this because you guys just want to be guilty. You guys feel he's guilty. That's not how. That's not what this country was built on. It's called innocent until proven guilty. Not guilty until proven innocent. You know, and I know that's like another thing I kind of want to rant about. This whole innocent guilty until proven innocent. I don't understand what where this started. I think it only specifically happens when it comes to rape, because everything else seems people get to be charged fairly. You know, but when it comes to rape, they want the guy to just be thrown in jail with no evidence. Like this whole Bill Cosby thing, they just want to already double the rapist, even though there's no really, you know, there's loose evidence. The drugging thing, I don't count that as evidence because it didn't even say he was that it drugged them. He just gave them drugs. It's a difference. But it, you know, we it. This is not the America I want to live in. I don't want to live in a country where you're already presumed guilty even without a fair trial. Look at the South in the like early 1900s to the 1960s. A white girl can say, oh, this black guy raped me, and then they claim he to kill him, and he's already presumed guilty just because he's black. It's almost the same thing here. You want to send a lynch mob after the people who are accused of being a rapist without a trial. You want to live in a country like that? Because I don't. We got to stop this, man. Charge people, give them a fair trial, and it is innocent until proven guilty. That's how it works. That's what this country was built off of. Not, oh, he's already guilty just because I say he is. No trial, no fair trial. I mean, that's all I wanted to say. I just kind of wanted to get a video because I know I have lately, I haven't been doing, I've only been doing like one video a week, week, the past few weeks. I'm not going to do that this week. I want to, just wanted to get this out and there will be, I don't know if there will be a video at the end of the week. Maybe there will, I don't know. But um, until then guys, I'm signing off. See you guys next time. Peace.